we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun What is it, baby girl? What's in daddy's engine? Get it, girl! What you smell, baby? Maybe she's scared it up in there. We're pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Trixie is the best rodent detection we've ever had. She's alerted us to mice in our house walls, in our camper, and our truck engine. However, her passion for chasing small animals scared a chipmunk up into our truck this time. Luckily, we had no rodent damage, and the elusive critter happily left once we all went inside for a while. For now, it's time to move on. After all, it's Travel Tuesday. We highly recommend boondocking in these beautiful mountains when visiting Telluride. You'll feel as though you're living in Switzerland, and the views will not disappoint. Today we're backtracking about 45 minutes to Ridgeway, Colorado. We hear it's the perfect mix of hippie vibes and rancher land, possibly the most ideal place for Nick, who some may know as the cowboy hippie. Wherever I go, I will always know Everything I need is right here with me It's time to let it all go, no matter who knows Anything about me now I'm ready to see what life's got for me I got one thing left to say We just left Telluride and we headed back down the mountain about just a little less than an hour and we are currently in Ridgeway so we're gonna check out this town for a few days and then probably move on. What we're excited about here is there is Orvis Hot Springs just down the road I believe it's only about 20 minutes outside of town and that is a clothing optional hot springs that we are going to try to get into. You've come pretty far. Give yourself some credit. Forgive others that have hurt you so you can see clearly. Thank you for doing what you do. You are appreciated. You are superior to negative thoughts and low action. You look awesome today. You look awesome today. You made my day. Thank you. You made my day. Thank you. Much of the 1969 western True Grit was filmed in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado. The Ross Ranch is located on Last Dollar Road, one of the roads seen in our episode opening, which can be found off Highway 62 running from Ridgeway to Telluride. It is, however, on private property and so must be viewed from a distance. The hanging scene was filmed in Ridgeway's town park known as Hartwell Park, adjacent from what is now the Fort Smith Saloon, True Grit Cafe, and Old Firehouse. Just around the corner, you'll see several other buildings you may recognize from the original film. If you head into the old firehouse, it's now home to a local artist. This is Yoti. He's a local artist here in Ridgeway. How long have you been here in Ridgeway? Uh, a little less than 15 years. you got to have some winter passions to live in this area because winters 
more than half of the year. Do you want to tell us a little bit about some of your artwork? What inspired you? I usually use my photography or other local photographers as kind of a reference point for my art. You can see this is Mount Snuffles, which is kind of like the highlight of our area. This is the opposite direction. So there's two different mountain chains in this area. There's the San Juans and there's the Cimarrons. And so this is the highlight of the Cimarron Mountains and this is the San Juan Mountains. Just because we get a lot of people traveling through, so I got a few different ones of Telluride around here as well. And then I had people ask me for uh, local nature, like animals and stuff. So that's really what I've been kind of getting into lately. I've got an eagle behind me here. It's not exactly a tourist town. We're more of just like a small family community with tourist towns around us. So we're a unique little gym here in the mountains. I noticed there's quite the hippie vibe here. No, I, I would say it's about half and half because you got all the ranchers in the surrounded area and then you have family-minded people here in town who, yeah, hippie I would say, maybe just a <laughs> more relaxed mountain style. So I'll just introduce you guys. This is the international flag of planet Earth. It's a new proposal for the international flag to promote eliminating boundaries. Everybody from every country should unite and accept the world as their home instead of their country as their home. Essentially, it's preservation of the earth, preservation of all of the um, elements of the earth, the water, the air, the sea, the soil. Essentially, this is just try to bring people together and to recognize that we all share this planet and we all need to take care of this planet. We have patches, we have stickers, we have flags. Uh, check it out online, the international flag of planet Earth. Earth, baby. We gotta keep this place beautiful. We wanna keep enjoying it. You guys check out the sky over here. It's super blue on this side. It's super gray and stormy on this side. And it's probably 70 degrees outside. It's a nice day out. Such an intense rainbow. It's like you can reach out and touch it. It's so close. And there's, you can see all the colors. Even the, what is it, the indigo that you normally can't see? very clearly there and that field is where the pot of gold is well hello so we just showed up this morning at orvis hot springs this is a clothing optional hot springs resort and it looks magnificent we're splurging a bit for this one but i think it's going to be worth it in order to camp out i think it's 50 dollars a person something like that and it's just regular spot no hookup so it's a hundred dollars for us but then you get all night access. You get 24 hour access to the hot springs, which is really cool. We've heard that the stars around here are just wonderful at night. Super nice, super quiet spot. Uh, we tried to stay in town last night and it did not work out for us. We were told by some of the local business people we could stay in the parking lot right there at the community park. And we were woken up at 1130 by uh, one of two police officers there in town. <laughs> he told us, no, you can't stay here, you gotta go. Um, luckily, I found some BLM land close by. It's only like a mile and a quarter outside of that town. We'll be probably going there later, but we're gonna stay the night here at least one night and enjoy this. We got some massages set up for the morning and we need this, man. We've been roughing it. <laughs> So it's time for some luxury, baby. Um, we can't bring our cameras inside the facility. Uh, there's no cameras allowed, no electronics whatsoever. You can't even have an Apple Watch. It is clothing optional and nobody wants to be filmed in the nude when they're at a clothing optional resort. What we're gonna do is we're gonna experience it and we're gonna come back to the camper and we're gonna tell you guys all about it. So we're about ready to head into the hot springs today. We got a little tour earlier. There are what, like eight or nine different pools of all different temperatures. They come from three different water sources. So we're gonna go check them out, maybe get a nap in the sun. We didn't sleep very well last night. We're staying here tonight by these beautiful longhorn cows. And I think we're gonna go tonight and check out the stars in one of the hot springs. Apparently that's a really cool thing to do. Let's go to the hot springs. We just got back from the Orvis hot springs, our first time experience. It's pretty special. How many hot tubs were there? They have eight different soaking areas that you can get into, plus an indoor pool which they require clothing during the day and after hours they don't. But they're all different temperatures and it's nice to go back and forth and they even have a 40 degree chill pool. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so we went from the lobster pot, which is their hottest, at like 114, and we jumped between that and the, the cold one. Yeah. It was really nice. You go back and forth between the hot one and the cold one and the hot one and the cold one. It starts to feel really good. Like, <laughs> each of them individually by themselves are too much. Like, the cold one's too cold. and the, Actually, the cold one's not all that cold. No, it's but... too cold. <laughs> <laughs> it is for Jacqueline. But when you sit in the cold one for a long time, and then you get into the hot one, you just go right in and it feels really, really good. So It's very tingly on different levels. Tomorrow we booked a massage, I think early in the morning, so we're going to do that. We have access to the hot tubs until 9 o'clock tomorrow night, so that's nice. We got all of today and all of tomorrow. That's what we're doing. I, I wish we could bring the camera in, but you know, that's just not kosher in places like this. So it's very peaceful. It's like a little Zen garden back there. Lots of flowers, <laughs> dragonflies, little bumblebees. They've got free coffee, hot chocolate, a communal kitchen. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice, relaxing. We hear from everybody. This is one of the best hot springs to go to in the U.S. So that's great because we don't go to them very often unless they're free. Yeah. So we're spoiling ourselves because we got 1,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyways, we'll check back in with you guys later and tell you what else we find. Later. Bye bye. Call it a day. So we just had our massages this morning and we are so relaxed. Mine was amazing. Yeah. It, this place is absolutely incredible, worth every penny. Super nice to just so get a warm bath after you get your massage and kind of just detox yeah today we have access to all of the pools until 9 p.m but it's so nice it's hard to leave it is really hard to leave so now what mm, go soak again i guess <laughs> all right let's do it bye guys Massage, Trixie. Oh, we got a tail wag over here. That's a good massage. Drink lots of water. <laughs> That'll be two hundred dollars, please. <laughs> nah, it's free for you, baby. She says, "Daddy's fronting my bill." Come back for that clank of power, cause you said, "Oh yeah, it's destination now." Adventures where we run. Now for my reward. Cheers. <laughs> How was your day? Oh, it was amazing. Woke up late. Walked into uh, the hot springs. Got a beautiful massage and then uh, went and soaked in the hot tubs for a little bit for like two or three hours. Uh, got taken out to lunch by a friend and then now we're here. So we're back to camping for free out here on BLM land in Colorado. There's quite a bit just outside of town. We drove what 10 minutes off the main road through State Park to get to BLM land and get this pretty view for the night. So now we're gonna go down to Ridgeway Reservoir and do a little paddle boarding. It's supposed to be nice. The monsoons have stopped for the season, or at least for this week. So we can be out here in the evening with no thunderstorms, no rain. It's awesome. The weather's been great. It's probably been 80 consistently. It's been really nice. So we'll see you guys tomorrow when we take you out paddle boarding on the reservoir.
we can drive right up to the water up here. We can't do that at the other spots, right? Correct. Okay, yes. cool. And uh, do be careful, there is, is still a little muddy. Okay. Uh, the shoreline was actually close to parking until a few days ago. Got it. We've had a lot of rain, so. Is there water? Today is Lake Day. We are at Ridge. We're at Ridgeway State Park. It's a beautiful day. It's probably what, a little 80, maybe a little warmer than 80. I'd and say 75. oh, Nick's gonna say 75. And we are going to go paddle boarding. We're setting up right now. Uh, this is only a few miles from where we were boondocking last night on BLM land. I'd say Trixie's enjoying it. She is crying on the way in here anytime she sees water. So we just lost our Hero 9. We had it uh, mounted to Jacqueline's board and I was uh, grabbing it off the mount to move it to a different location and get another shot. And it slipped, tumbled, and sank like a rock. And this lake is deep enough that I don't want to go down and get it. I tried. I swam down pretty far, but couldn't catch up to it. And it's really, really murky out here. I can't even see. Like, I, I could see its shadow going down, and that was pretty much it. We're down a camera. That was one of our best cameras. <laughs> oh, well. That's why they call them action cameras, right? Stuff like that happens. Uh, we lost all that footage, <laughs> so we're gonna start over. That's what's up. Rest in peace, Harold. Trixie's swimming all the way back to the other shore, all by herself. She's quite the swimmer. With her toy in her mouth. <laughs> She's I told her she could have a cookie when we got back to the camper, so she took it upon herself to swim back to the camper. <laughs> Trixie dog, you were a good girl. Colorado's state park system has the most expensive dumping fees that I've ever experienced. We just paid $28 to dump and fill with water, and that was on top of our $10 entrance fee. So a total of $38 to dump. Now we got a day at the lake for our entrance fee, so I'm going to leave that part out of it. The $28 is by far the most I've ever paid. When we were in the Keys, they were charging $20, and I considered that outrageous. We're used to $10 to dump, maybe 15. The guy was telling me why it's so expensive. They apparently truck all of their sewage out and into a treatment station. That's expensive to do. Not sure why they're not doing it the normal way, but good for them, I guess. <laughs> good for us for paying the fee, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna make sure we get every last drop of poo into this container. <laughs>
So we found this BLM land and we tried to go camp on it and Nick thought that we could four wheel up this road, which we probably could, but it's real shady. It's real worn down, some really deep ruts and it's scary with our giant camper on there. So he has decided it's not worth it, but there's no turnaround. So we've got to back down this hill and it's pretty scary. He's doing a great job, but you got to go foot by foot and get out and check. And one wrong move, our camper will tip over. Wish us luck. As you can see, we got our camper out of that tight spot and we found a new one to stay for tonight. Life We're going to be here through the weekend. We're waiting for some mail that's arriving in town on Monday. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really want to know, really want to know If I will ever figure out where the road goes We pulled into this spot out here in the National Forest just outside of Ridgeway uh, last night and set up our camper and been hanging out. It's been a pretty nice spot for us. You like it? My head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Thanks for watching this episode. If y'all enjoyed it, go ahead hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next Tuesday. Later get her. Keep on trucking, you're almost there.